more solar parks, more wind power engines and more big storage devices. To connect this in a virtual power plant, this is the latest trend in our industry. Hello Mr. Schwieder, virtual reality, virtual money, virtual games, what is a virtual power plant? What does it mean? A uh, virtual power plant has both sides. It takes part in the real world, um, the, the light has to glow, uh, so the energy has to flow. So on the, we are a power plant, we produce energy, um, but not only that, we also deliver energy, um, we, we provide flexibilities. But uh, because we're not only one big power plant on one place, we are delivered through thousands of different assets all over the country. And therefore, we need the virtual world um, to integrate the intelligence and the steering um, and the management of the whole system. And that's the reason why we call ourselves a virtual power plant, because we combine the advantages of both worlds. Mm -hmm. ENBW is a large energy supplier from Germany. Why do you do this? Why do you work with a virtual power plant? Um, on the one hand, we not only believe in energy transition and renewable energies, we want to play an active part in it. And we are able to manage big plants, complex systems. That was our past. We come from that. Um, but in future, if every single plant owner has to uh, manage all these complicated processes that are already there and that which will be in future there, um, we believe that this will be the dad of the energy transition. Um, and for that, uh, we provide a virtual power plant to reduce this complexity and provide easy solutions for everybody out there uh, who wants to take part in it. That might be renewable energies, batteries, consumers, whoever. Um, and this is our goal, that in the end, energy transition will be a success. Uh -huh. So there are many plans to be connected into the virtual power plants. So what is the minimum size of it? So, um, can everybody take part in it? Yeah, technically yes. Um, so okay. the smallest part, uh, the smallest plant that is connected today is 5 uh, kilowatts. That's a typical oh, that's really PV household. Yeah. Um, that's possible, also 1 kilowatt would be possible. Um, the biggest one is several hundred megawatts, so there is no scale in the technical availability. Um, and also not in the power of the asset. So we have batteries, we have windmills, we have PV plants, biomass. We also have um, consumers of energy in the industry, uh, for example. Um, so there are no technical um, yeah, regulations. Who wants to limits. come to us? No, no limits. limits. Um, it's more a question of the financial aspect, um, of the economical aspect. Does it make sense under the today regulations to take part and to sell energy or buy energy? Mm -hmm. So. This is, the, is part of the innovation, the commercial side, the money side. So what is the model behind it? Do you share the money you earn by this model or, or how do you make it? Yeah, we, we believe the best product is always a sharing model um, because then we have the same interest, we want to earn money. And if we just share the profits, it's always the best model. On the other hand, we have different products and different um, yeah, business cases. Um, another one, for example, in the direct marketing area, we just get a little fee um, for our service um, to provide uh, forecasts, to manage the whole energy system. This is one part of the commercial side. Um, but for example, in the battery storage optimization, uh, we go for a profit share because then the partnership is always the best because we have the same interest to perform as best as possible. Yeah, so it's a real... It's a real, it's not a virtual win-win, it's a real win-win. Yes. Yeah. And there's a technology side on the other hand. Yeah? You need some control systems and something like that and a very fast uh, calculation of the data and something like that. So how much effort do you, did you put into this technological uh, innovation? Um, we take a lot of effort into this because it's the core of the virtual power plant. Exactly. Um, all the steering of every little plant, the controlling, the managing of that. Um, luckily, we're not um, the, the first who started that. There are a lot of IoT applications, a lot of other partners and companies that provide some parts of the system. So what we do in an IT perspective is to combine all these parts um, and we like to combine it from other partners um, because then we're more flexible in the future and we do not have to invent the wheel on our own. And this was how we started it. And today we have a complex system on the first few um, but it all works together quite well and this is the 
Yeah, the, the key, if you want to control a virtual power plant, we have to manage all the assets and all the systems, but this is, this is the game. Yeah, yeah, and it's a big demand for the reali reliability and the availability of the, of the system, you know, of the solution. Yes, it has to be there every day, 24 hours and seven days a week. Definitely. Yeah, so thank you very much for this deep insights in your business and your interest in virtual business, which has a reality and a real win-win situation. Wish you good luck here on the uh, Intersolar. Thank you. And uh, thank you for the nice insight into your work. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.